Okay, so let's get to it. Okay, we need to get the torch fired up. Torch. Big tip on it with a big uh, torch. Uh, just a smaller one. Smaller one. Essentially, what we're doing is just testing the product and show you how it works. Spray dog As you can see, it. we're testing the heat transfer from the, the bolt and a couple other materials. Heat this up red hot. Hopefully, we don't burn the playbook. As you can see, Rod's still holding on to that bolt while the end of that, which is hard to see, but the end of that bolt is red hot. Look at that. You want to try it? That bolt should be piping hot, but it's not That's because the heat <laughs> is not transferring to the end of the bolt. <laughs> Look at that. Amazing. Okay, so that's on a our grade eight bolt, I believe. That's a grade eight bolt. Now we're gonna try it on a piece of rubber. That's some great technique, Rod. Well, okay, gotcha. Rod and I are in Team A6 and AK7 in wipe Nova Scotia. It, wipe it off. Wipe it off, it'll transfer yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. Heat up. Just along there. So once they remove the paste from the bolt, the rest of the bolt heated up right to the end. Over there on the floor. So material number two. We're gonna heat this item here. So right to the right of that paste, that's yeah. rubber material. As you can see on that, the uh, material's not burning. That's a piece of rubber onto a metal pipe. Let it cool a bit before I wipe it off because it'll probably catch on fire. So Rob's wiping off that paste and you'll see the heat prevented it from going on to the rubber on that pipe. That is pretty slick. Now, that's item number two. This goes on. Ah, that's hot. This goes on as a. That was on like a stream before, right? So this goes on as a as a spray. As a surface spray. So, so that was the paste you used the first time. The paste. The paste would probably be better for this, but. Uh, just go over that with the, the torch. You know, go over the part that I didn't cover. Is this going to catch on fire, do you suppose? Or? We're going to find out. Catch it, probably not. Probably. Well, so we're going to heat up this uh, painted surface that's got the protective spray on it. This is fiberglass, right? This is fiberglass. You want me to heat it there? Just spray it on, spray on the spray? Yep. Look at that. Up here where I have it. So look at the damage difference where he's putting the heat to the painted surface. Look at that. Starting to blister there. So he's going to wipe that off. Didn't blister the paint off. No blister in that paint. And this, and the this is the gel that I use, but the paste. Paste is for a thicker application. It just goes on, go on thicker. This one stands up to 7,500 degrees. I don't know what that torch would be right now, but it's pretty hot. And the spray is the same. same Spray's not as 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 uh, high a temperature as this but it's about 4,000. So depending on the surface you want to use and what you want to uh, apply. 
I sat up there then. Finally, I didn't eat that very much. Just down there. Just not even there. Amazing. They are amazed. So this was fiberglass and not metal and didn't melt it. So we've done fiberglass, rubber, metal. Yep. And it resisted the heat on all three applications. I'm not doing it on my hand. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. So <laughs> It's not great product. It's non corrosive. It's non corrosive. It's non toxic. It's biodegradable. I mean, that's just what it looks like. And uh, doesn't do you any harm. Excellent. Once again, that is protective welding paste and protective welding spray 892.7401, 893.7402. Excellent work, Rod. Body shop class number 101. Thanks, fellas, at the shop. Been great help. And, uh...